Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land Plays Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. We're gonna random. The game keeps trying to kill us, just can't get the job done. Eve, that is not gonna help them. We're in a great position here. Eve's a good character. How things have changed since when I didn't like her very much. J9A2S9D2. That's our seed for today. We already have a tinted rock as well. So we don't need too much to start the ball out of control here. This room drops a bomb. We razor blade. Well, first we, we use the bomb on the tinted rock to see if it actually has spirit hearts. Then we razor blade. Put ourselves in the horror Babylon state. Got some protection for a deal with the devil. We're killing most enemies before they even have a chance to kill us. This could get out of control for us fast. But, I mean, this is a pretty unreasonable thing to say, I guess, now that I think about it. We're two rooms into a run that, you know, is probably going to be 80 times longer than it's actually, you know, taken place so far. So, um, we, uh, we owe it to ourselves to not get cocky and give ourselves the, the best possible chance for uh, success. I hate these guys. Like, fuck these enemies to death. Hey, you know what would be sweet? If we had an enemy you faced right at the very beginning of the game that has uh, 2,000 HP. How much damage do... Uh, do you do with most characters right at the start? Uh, you know, one, 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 one HP. So, uh, takes us a little while here. Those numbers are exaggerated, by the way. That room took us almost like a full 45 seconds. Now, this is interesting because that could be a library. Normally, I'd think like it's probably not a library on the first floor un unless it's like directly adjacent to us or maybe like one room away from where we start, but that could be a library. It also like could not be a library. It could be a lot of things. It couldn't really. It can really only be a shop or a library now that I think about it. Um, again, another Tinted Rock. If we get hit here, it, it doesn't matter all that much, honestly. Uh, as long as we keep ourselves alive and in the Horror Babylon state, especially at one heart instead of half a heart, it would be, it would be ideal to keep ourselves well-funded here from an HP perspective. Uh, you probably want to take that. Razor Blade does do one far, uh, full heart of damage anyway. Um, yeah, okay. So this is risky, but... Potentially interesting. Taurus. Without any bombs, we have to get hurt to pick up Taurus. Or without any any means of garnering invincibility. I'm not talking about Jennifer Garner. Television darling. Star of Alias. 30, 13 going on 30. Side character sort of in The Invention of Lying. Starring Ricky, Ricky Gervais. Uh, principal lead in Electra, But probably she'd prefer I don't talk about that. The biography of Carmen Electra's life. Man, this sucks right now. Because what I'm thinking is, I do want Taurus. But can I afford our only HP? Well, not our only HP. Can I afford our protection against death to get Taurus? What are the benefits? Well, they're, they're several, honestly. They're myriad. Um, we would get invincibility now and then we're not fast enough to really expect it all the time but horror babylon does give you a speed bonus so you know it's it's conceivable it would happen with with somewhat regularity especially if we pick up you know one or two extra speed upgrades throughout the game that invincibility could be more valuable than the one heart that we pay however the consequences are enormous you know i think it's like it's almost like being really smart but unable to afford college or something it's like you know, we can't afford to get it, even though it would be good for us, so we're, we're behind the eight ball, but it, it probably is, at least for a certain subset of people, the right decision. The box actually completely saves us from having to deal with any of the complications of this issue. Uh, yeah, it still does. Um, now we have bombs. We can use those bombs to access the Tinted Rock, uh, which gives us protection. Can't even pick that up, so we know we're at full health. Oh, we got a Hangman card. What do we need the Hangman card for? Yeah, we pick up Taurus for free. Use a bomb to get this. Wait, do this. Now we're in the Horror Babylon state. Crack this. Sweet. We got a, a flipping dime out of it. Come in here. Hangman card. And look at that. That's, this is incredible for us. This is a fantastic situation. We can't pick up that nickel, unfortunately. We could probably go buy a bomb. For three cents, maybe, or five cents. Go get a bomb and then blow up the nickel, pick up the nickel. But then it just takes us basically back where we started. So I think we just leave. We don't pick up any extra HP. We're happy with, um, you know, being in the Horror Babylon state right now. The Taurus pickup is awesome. Could spawn an arcade on this floor because we kept all our money. Ooh, money in the bank. Okay. Do we have any curse? Curse of the Lost. Right, I can't see my map. That probably should have been pretty clear. Um... 
I don't think we need to gamble for the IV bag. I think I've said this like 30 times since playing as Eve in Afterbirth, but now that you start with the Razor, the Razor takes red hearts. It's, I, I don't think it's necessary. I'm still happy to have the arcade in case we need the money, and we may to get something from our shop here, but for now it's okay. Yeah, I would, I would really like Humbling Bundle. Map is not the worst thing in the world either, but Humbling Bundle is the big one here, so let's enter. We need three cents somehow, and that has just broken us even, unfortunately. Man, another Hangman card would be pretty... Okay, so Northern Line, you gotta stop worrying about just Hangman cards, man. There's other things in the game. Supposedly, I don't, I don't see them anymore. All I see is Hangman card, Hangman card. Hey, Nong, man. Okay, nothing there. We could get two cents here. Let's be optimistic. We only need to get one cent now. That's optimism right there. Hey, we only need a penny. We'll get ourselves out of this hellhole. Whoa, we're halfway there. Whoa, now we're all the way there. Take my penny, now we've made it to our destination. Oh. Yeah, probably Humbling Bundle over the map. Well, definitely Humbling Bundle over the map, but uh, sweet. Still a little slow. Not alarmingly so, but slow nonetheless. Not like not even in terms of speed. I just mean in terms of like our capacity to kill a room before it presents a reasonable and you know non-trivial amount of danger to ourselves. We can do the boss trap room. I would like to do the boss trap room if the return looks good, but it doesn't look good. All right, big floor too, or maybe that's the curse of the lost. Uh, you know, blinders on. Yeah, Daddy Long Legs is gonna be very solid for us. I know I was like really cocky earlier, and now like I'm like, why was I so cocky? But I guess I was just hoping we'd get like our bomb shit kicked off. Unfortunately, it didn't really kick off until we got to the end of the floor, which put us in a bit of a, a tight spot. But they they forced our hand. And you know what? They taught me some humbleness. I don't know if that's even the way you would use that phrase. But they they, they taught me how to be humble, and then they presented me with Taurus, which has been a big help, and I appreciate it. All we need to do now is not get hit, grab this deal with the devil, get precedent. Oh man, I was just gonna say, give me fucking anything but placenta. Oh, thank god. I can't take placenta. I wish I could. I totally could, because I have the razor blade, but no, nah, I still think this is okay. Not Maybe not optimal, but okay. That was a dumb decision. I'm so like, keep in mind, I'm unlearning... Eve stuff that I've had in my old brain hole for like a hundred years. Being like, hey, we should never take HP because of the Whore Babylon stuff. And now I'm like, yeah, the Razor Blade actually makes it like pretty functional, so. Makes it much easier to stay in the Whore Babylon state for sure. That's why, like, sometimes I prefer Lazarus though, because it's just like set it and forget it. You know, you get your Whore Babylon equivalent in the Lazarus respawn, you never have to worry about it again. With Eve, you gotta you gotta keep an eye on it constantly, which is, you know, breeds good habits, but Bit of a mistake. In all honesty, I probably shouldn't feel the need to be so defensive over um, what is effectively the... Oh, nice. What's well, effectively, you know, one HP upgrade. And health regen that maybe could give us some tangential benefit occasionally. Because we can use the razor blade and, I don't know, walk into a blood bank or something. But, um, yeah, it, it's unlikely to make too much of a difference over the course of the rest of the run. But it could, you know, it, it could have come in handy for a deal with the devil or something. Virgo invincibility is really good. We're stacking up invincibility types here. Um, almost to the point where I'm like, yeah, maybe like speed upgrades and Midas touch is a viable kind of line for us to take through this run. Line! Doesn't really, that was, that was DJ Khaled shouting lion, but doesn't, doesn't really work in this context. Excuse me... Excuse me. Isaac's Fork. Well, I mean, we could learn from our mistakes and take that, but I, I think Isaac's Fork is still pretty bad. Whipworm is a better trinket. Okay, so there you go. I, I have some justification to not take Isaac's Fork. Liberty Cap or Whipworm? Usually Liberty Cap, but Whipworm is not bad. I didn't respect Whipworm for a long time. I respect Whipworm now. If you get uh, incredibly low range, Whipworm will save your life, man. We actually, actually, it was the right idea to not take Isaac's Fork anyway. 
Because with only one HP, it would definitely take spirit hearts, right? I think they would take spirit hearts, so I think I in, uh, unintentionally made the right decision inadvertently. What an accidental genius we have on our hands here. Ah, oh, well, if you're gonna just stick along that wall, then I'll do this. We got another shot speed up, uh, which means we definitely, probably don't need Whipworm anymore. Thank you for not rotating. That one, a little more annoying on my part. Come on, come on, come on. I think we have to stick with the Razor Blade just in case. I don't love it, but I'm gonna do it. And we're down to low HP again. I keep doing this to myself. This time, walk in, crack these bad boys, use the Hermit card. Oh, what about the deal with the devil? Ah, eh, we can handle that later. That's that's a tomorrow problem. Now, car battery and uh, razor blade. I don't think they synergize. If they do, they might synergize in such a way that I'm scared for my life. So, ooh, luck upgrade for a key. It's not horrible. It's not great, but it's not horrible. Um, we can uh, we can talk about that shop. I'd like to get car battery for future potential interests, but. Um, we could also just go for the what the potential Joker card, I guess. You know, the, the two of something card, the playing card. It's got all sorts of pseudonyms. The police are all over it. Secret room is here. It's the second secret room. Uh, any chance we find an arcade down here? Because this is just free money at this point. Ah, fuck it. Let's do it. I'm ready. All right, the husk. We got very lucky, by the way. And, and believe you me, I noticed how lucky we got. That we fought two of the easiest bosses back to back here. Uh, this is like an exceptionally very useful haul for us. Hey, thank God we kept the razor blade because uh, we did just get magic mushroom. Thank God we got magic mushroom because it's awesome. But thank God we got the or we kept the razor blade so we can keep this up. There is a dice room. Uh, keep up poor Babylon. I mean, there is a dice room back here. That's gonna hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Not the dice room, but the uh, the damage I took there. Okay, now, now we are not going to be in the Horror of Babylon state. Now we're going to pick up HP so we live. That's going to be bad from a damage standpoint, but great from a uh, keeping yourself alive and all that standpoint. What is this room? It's a one room. I will reroll our whole run. I will. I'm not particularly attached to it. We got Epic Fetus. Epic Fetus, Lusty Blood, uh, Kidney Stone, Little Brimstone, Judas' Shadow. Uh, this is a freaking weird one, man. Take me out. We'll come. <clears throat> There's a good joke in there. We'll come back as Dark Judas. We'll come back as Dark Judas. It's not a good joke. I, I pretty much lied directly to your face. It's weird. We got, like, Tech 2 as well. Um, we'll, we'll definitely get Car Battery now. Which doesn't come with a full battery charge, which as far as I'm concerned is bullshit. But it doesn't mean we get two pills with every battery charge now. Two a dime. Oh, you know what we should do? Just get the five cents. Crack this bad boy. Two pills. Lemon party and question mark. What makes you small? I'm thinking, like, do we want to go placebo? Placebo lemon party? Can we use it once per room for two lemon parties or something? What's this bad boy? What makes... <laughs> we just had that one. Uh, okay, let's, let's get a move on. Let's get out of here. Sorry, Placebo. We haven't really had a chance to use you properly, but uh, we won't hear either. I think this is good. We got Epic Fetus. We don't have very much HP and we're slow as molasses, but we got Epic Fetus. We just get like a couple, you know, balls of steel pills. We're, we're cooking with gas. I wonder if we... No, I was going to say if we got a bad trip pill, I wonder if it would kill us. That doesn't make any sense. That we'd have to take the second one to die. And the second one wouldn't... It would just be full health, so... Uh, yeah, I'm feeling like a... Just a... Consummate genius right now. So we also have Toxic Shock. We got a, we got a couple of interesting things going on here. There's no question about it. It's a great reroll. We pretty much got the same amount of HP. But now we also have uh, Epic Fetus. Probably not the best use of two of diamonds, but... Uh, I wouldn't say I'm desperate. I'm just, you know... Trying to make sure we keep Lemon Party? Okay, Brain. Get yourself sorted. There's no reason to keep Lemon Party over two of diamonds. I cut you some slack. You had a hard week. I can see forever. Telepills. Telepills is our avenue out of Boss Rush. You know, our Tech 2 damage is actually not that bad. 
We don't really get, you know, much. It's, it's not even Tech 2. It's like Tech 2 marked. What is this nonsense? No, it's Tech 2. It's not marked. But it changes where it shoots based on where we've got our uh, Epic Fetus Cursor. What quadrant of the screen we got it in. Which actually makes sense. That's how all the... Um, that's how, like, uh, Ludovico Technique... No, wait, 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 am I trying? It's like how Ludovico Technique Tech works. Or Tech 2. Basically what I'm getting at is it works this way because it works this way. That should be clear. Lusty Blood is, like, an awesome pickup for us as well. I wonder if it synergizes with Dead Eye. Yo, I can't... This dude, he will not pop up. We don't exist on his side of the map yet. Okay, that's problem solved. The Fool, I think... I mean, is it better than Telepills? It's, it's a known quantity, which is nice. Would we rather have Mr. Boom and get, uh... Get two bombs, or one bomb that explodes for twice as much damage. I don't even know at this point, but I think I'm I'm content with what I got. These pills could turn out for us. Kind of wish we had that epic fetus synergy that gives you like multiple shots. There's a variety of them, so like I'll I'll take what I can get, man. But as of right now, I'm like, man, it takes us forever to shoot. Lemon. We got a lemon party, which I should have known. We got another lemon party. It's not the same pill every time, though. That was just circumstance, right? Or happenstance? One of the stances? Oh, come on. Don't make me use Lemon Party to kill you, dude. Spider. Thanks a lot, Spider. Nah, it's not worth it either. Um, we still want the other card with us, so this is our second secret room. Just don't forget. Don't forget. As long as you don't forget, you're in a good place, but... This is our regular secret room? This shit's taking forever, man. Yo, that, I heard that was the alternate title of uh, Highlander. Forever, man. That's that, I just made that up. But that would have been sweet, right? Okay, we haven't seen our item room yet. Honestly, our HP is good enough that I sort of don't care about the item room. I also sort of don't really care about getting the uh, teleport back. Sure, I'll take opening golden chest for free, I guess. But what's this one? Magician. All right, let's let's take that in here. I don't want to rush too hard, but boss rush is like definite possibility on this run, and we're we're quite strong absent uh, the item room anyway. A little extra speed never hurt anybody. Lock down. Pheromones. What? I mean, we might as well take nine lives first, because it gives us a spirit heart. Or sorry, a red heart. Then we take. Guppy's head. We get six flies every time we touch it. Then we take goat head. Now, we did that... At some point, we did that backwards. Let's get the hell out of here. Because we could have had, um... One red heart at the end. Instead, we have one spirit heart. It's not much worse, but it is probably worse. Um, but we got nine lives. Close to becoming Guppy. Epic fetus. I mean, there should be ways out for us here. Six, six flies per room that have epic fetus damage is also... Uh, really, really good. The downside of this run right now is that we just, if we get hit, we die by pretty much anything. Including ourselves, who fires an explosive uh, bomb down from the ceiling that, uh, I mean, we control, but that doesn't mean I always control it well. One more. Okay. Now nah, we're not ready for the boss yet. I mean, we could probably beat Mom without getting hit. And then decide whether or not we want to do boss rush. But uh, I'd rather at least check out our item room on this floor. That could have been terrible damage. Well, I hate this. Tell you what. Just do things that way. I think that's the proper way to handle that room. <laughs> I hate to do it. I'm sorry, donation machine. But I'd really, really like to get uh, another spirit heart. Uh, we don't need the bombs, though. Yeah, I think this is the way that this room should be handled. If you have a bomb... Smoke them if you got them. I don't know what that means. Is that, is that refer to, referring to cigars? Smoke them if you got them? Is that what you say when you... Is someone's like, mine if I got a cigar? And you say, smoke them if I got uh, smoke them if you got them? I honestly, I'm asking this question from a place of honesty. I swear to you. I know it's like a t media touchstone or something. It's from a movie. In what context was it referred to in the movie, I'm unaware. Yeah, okay, that's good enough. I mean, assuming it works with uh, Epic Fetus, at least. Mysterious Liquid Solid here. 
It's a small, very, very small damage upgrade as well, so... Just for picking it up, our flies will get better. Epic Fetus will get a little bit better. Kind of looking for skulls here, just to see if we can get a... Uh, teleport card. If we have to do boss rush, and it is possible that we would want to, then I think we're fine. Like, oh, that was dumb. Maybe not now. But uh, if we die, we just respawn outside of the room anyway. So if we wanted to, we could just pick up Boss Rush, pick up whatever item we want, and kill ourselves, and then respawn on the other side. But uh, it's probably ill-advised. But it, it could be advised. It depends on what the item is. Like, if it's a guppy transformation, of course. But It's not quite as much damage as I hoped. Whoa, I almost ate it there. There was a Tinted Rock involved, apparently. So we'll get that. We'll get the Polaroid. Uh, we'll get Ceremonial Robes, which is basically like damage and HP up, weirdly enough, right now. And then we got Mom's Knife, Wafer, Satanic Bible. Holy wow, this is a great pool. I think I'm going to take the Wafer, honestly. Not a no-brainer, because Mom's Knife is, a, of course, an excellent item. But the Wafer probably has a better chance of keeping us alive. Also, we're going to be, like, disgustingly overpowered here because uh, Lusty Blood is just... I mean, I'm assuming it hits a cap at some point, but even still, Lusty Blood is going to enable us to destroy so many enemies by flies or, or what have you. What the hell is going on here? War already? This is Wave 3. Yeah, one more. Yeah, it totally does do uh, Mysterious Liquid as well. Wave 4. Excuse me, that was very poorly handled. Wave 5. Oh. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Wave 6. I apologize for the arduous counting, but it helps me keep an idea of where we're at here. Oh, I fucked it. Good, good, good. This is wave seven. Oh, Peep didn't die in one hit. It's, I mean, I'm not trying to be snobby about it, but we have so much damage, I kind of thought it was inevitable. This is wave eight. Which means we're over halfway there. We may do hush on this one. I do like to do the hush fight when it's, like, appropriate. This is wave nine. Watch out for the horse! Man, if I had a nickel for every time I said that one. I don't particularly like horses, but I grew up, uh, actually, um, I'm the author of Black Beauty. That's not true. I, I can't vouch for that. Shit, was this wave 10? Okay, I think it was wave 10. I lost count after all. After annoying people, I might as well get the value out of having counted anyway. You got something for me. Wow! Where did you come from? So this will be 11. Don't die now. Like, that would just be disappointing. Is there like a Gertie or something? Oh, there's a husk flying around here. Wave 12. Is, I'm feeling pretty bad about our overall performance here. Thank God for ceremonial robes or we'd be dead. There's no reason for me to even stand there now. I think it was wave 13. One more, one more, there we go. This will be wave 14. And this is an easy one, apparently. And this should be our final wave. If I've counted properly. Well, I fucking blew it. Okay, well, let's take a look at Bomber Boy. How does this work with this? No, it doesn't count as a bomb, which is good. It means if we place our own bombs, they can be a little bit more... Oh, we should be more cautious around them, but... We don't have to worry about Epic Fetus exploding, you know, any closer to us than it already does. A rune. That was a very, very tight dodge. Algis. That could end up becoming important. Uh, I really, like, with Epic Fetus and this much damage, I would expect to lose lives, but I don't expect to lose enough to fail this run. It's funny, like, if you looked at this run, you didn't know what items we had, you just looked at our, like, HP, you'd probably be like, he's fucked. But out of all of the runs we've done recently, or at least today, which includes this and the last two, this is the easiest by far. <laughs> this one has been no or this one's been a joke, I should say. Well, hard to imagine I want anything 
on the cathedral here, or sorry, on the black market here, because we really just can't afford to lose our existing HP. And if I take anything, even with algas, we'll we'll die. But um, I mean, there is like a hive mind or something in there. There was, uh, you know, BFF. There's good stuff. Cancer trinket. I don't think does enough for us with uh, epic fetus. I mean, either way, like the trinket game is is irrelevant at this point. Focus on the. Pounds and the pennies will take care of themselves, is what I've always said since a couple of years ago. Um, Mr. Rock Tinted up there. It's helpful. Red chest, maybe? Oh, yeah, I'll give it a try. Yeah, it was very much worth it. Yeah, okay. I'm very happy to have had it. Thank you. Two extra spirits. Now we could take something from our shop. Since we have nine lives and we're kind of like. Like, our lives are expendable until we don't want them to be expendable anymore. Uh, we could go to our black market and maybe buy Hive Mind if it was for sale. There's also Sackboy, which is so good. Sackboy is probably our number one. Oh, there wasn't even Hive Mind back here. What am I talking about? We got Sackboy. BFF was what I was thinking of. I don't even know if BFF's that good for us right now, but sure, Sackboy for three Spirit Hearts. Will it give us more than three Spirit Hearts? It'll give us more than three Spirit Hearts worth of fun, and that's the only thing that matters. No, I'd like to go, please. I don't even care about the about the special poop. Man, I'm amazed Car Battery actually ended up being such a good pickup. Pretty much entirely because of the full run reroll followed by Guppy's Paw, but still, or Guppy's uh, Head. Well, you know, one of those guppy items. They're all, they're all the same to me. I think we will not fight Hush. I know that's two times in a row. And that, for, you know, the internet, sometimes that constitutes a trend. This thing's happened twice in a row. It, it will never happen in an alternate way ever again. Um, I do I do plan to fight Hush in my life. In my life. But uh, nine lives makes it... Nine lives in low HP, at least, renders it kind of impossible for us to do. I could end up fighting Hush, you know, for the next 45 minutes. Ruining... This perfectly good streak for no reason. Everyone always goes, ah, but you know, you're you're playing too cautious. The streak's losing its luster. Yo, we still played pretty fucking fast and loose here with all the deals with the devil and the full run reroll and the et cetera, et cetera. Um, what I wouldn't want to have happen is just us lose to Hush, and then people go, oh, why'd you do that? And I, go, oh, I thought people would want to see it. So we will die here, but we'll become Guppy. We respawned without Guppy's paw. If, if we're already, we already took the hit, why not get Guppy's Hairball? Like, it's not very good, but maybe it saves us from taking a hit later. We're basically paying almost nothing for it, so. Now we can fly. Cricket's head. No. Cricket's head. Ooh, Bob's brain. That's uh, basically suicidal. We'll say no to that for now. Double key room. I'll do it. Nobody accuses me of not having balls. Well, actually, like a lot of people accuse me of not having balls. Mostly my urologist. Um, let's stick with algaes. Actually, the algaes rune does make the hush fight kind of a little bit more tempting, doesn't he? Because you're like, hey, well, we got, we we can't be hit for a while. Maybe we do fight hush. You know what? I think we fight hush. Fuck it. This isn't even like a, you know, you threaten my machismo or anything like that. It's, um, it's actually like I'm looking at the situation and I'm like, it seems sensible to fight Hush. We'll get a bunch of items, um, assuming we make it in time, which looks pretty likely, but, ooh, that almost got us. Get a bunch of items. We got our Algae's Rune. What we'll do is wait until, um, Hush is like half or even three quarters dead. And then we'll pop the Algae's Rune, just to guarantee that we win. It would be much worse, in my opinion, to pop it right at the very start, and then just, like, you know, hope that you last the end of the fight. It's a, It seems like a pretty minor thing, but I do think it makes a big difference. It's kind of like an Isaac Order of Operations thing. At least with nine lives. Just hoping for, like, a, a Spirit Heart or two. Like, nothing too serious here. Just something that allows me to actually get hit once against the Hush and still be fine. This might not have been my brightest idea, but we'll see. We get Algis out. Judgment. 
Well, okay. 48 hour energy, that's real good actually. Plenty of flies. Lock down, not interested. Emperor? Yeah, but we lose the Al we're gonna lose the Algas room either way, so I think we actually pop Algas and then kill ourselves on the Demon Judgment. Whoa! Wafer! <laughs> I forgot we had the Wafer, I was like, I was preparing for death. I was content with it. We were gonna kill ourselves in such a manner that we respawned with the Algas rune on the outside of the room. And that would have been the appropriate way to handle the situation. But, uh... Instead, we actually have the Wafer, so we're totally fine. That's my bad. Again, one life makes basically no difference at this point regardless, but... Man, you know what? Just fuck this room. Like, you're already dead. Just enjoy dying. I'm gonna leave. Keep most of our flies alive. If I have to come back through that room, I'll happily bomb my way out again. Hilarious. Apparently I accidentally uh, bombed myself at some point in that in that exchange. I uh, do not recall, to be honest with you, but it uh, seems like it's possible. Oh, there's HP for us, which is actually extremely valuable. You left the one thing that I didn't want you to leave alive, alive. Okay, here we go. You will die now. One more, maybe at most. We gotta deal with the devil. Again, this life's not that valuable. Maybe we want it. No, we do not. We want this, though. And we will go fight Hush. I don't think it's gonna be too bad. I've been playing Hush a lot lately. This is a kind of a moment of truth, though, because we did have a an, an guaranteed win. This is basically just throwing the guaranteed win away for effectively no reason. Which is what appeals to me the most, I think. It's just, it's insane. You take Gemini, because it's, you know, slightly better. Probably take Hot Bombs? That synergizes, maybe. Yep, okay. We'll take the blue map. And we'll take the Spirit Heart. And we'll check the card. It's the tower, that's real bad. And we'll wedge ourselves back here and donate as much of our ill-gotten gains as we possibly can. Ruka, Tomo, oh there. Pretending to be asleep. That's, you, you know how being a dad is. The cat's always pretending you're there asleep so they don't have to talk to you. Oh, it's uh, far be it for me to just support you for every day of my life. Okay, don't worry, I'll be quiet. I won't embarrass you in front of your other cat friends. Okay, here we go. We made it. Stand as far. Well, man. Hot Bombs was the right selection. We got all sorts of simultaneous tear effects happening at the same time here. I guess you don't need to say it at the same time when you've already said simultaneous, but you get the idea. Alright, hush fight. You know what? If we don't have to use the Algiz rune, I think we save it for later. Same principle as why we wouldn't use it right away on the hush fight. Instead, you want to wait until you get a little further in. Um, and that principle is, if we can use it to guarantee a win, that's the best value I can get. Being guaranteed a win is better than getting maximum value out of the uh, Algiz rune. I wonder if you can get hit by like multiple fires at the same time. Because I'm digging this, uh, you know, Hot Bombs little fire matrix we got down here. And I'm not talking about Carrie Ann Moss. Actually, I am talking about Carrie Ann Moss. You got me. This is Carrie Ann Moss Hour. Hi, I'm your host, Carrie Ann Moss. Uh, sorry. <laughs> I'm your host, Northern Line. That's my mistake. I get confused all the time. As a fictional character who runs a podcast related to... Exclusively the professional, maybe personal dealings of Carrie Ann Moss, Canadian actress well known for playing Trinity in the Matrix trilogy. She was also in Memento. I don't remember. She was in Existence, maybe? That's like a Canadian sci fi film. Maybe I just think that she was in Existence because it came out the same year as The Matrix. Whoa! Oh, yep, yep. Stand in this plane. You're alright. I don't think he's getting hit by more ticks of damage because of there being more fires. But maybe each tick is worth more. But maybe he's getting his armor back because the ticks are so consistent that I'm kind of screwing myself a little here. So you know what? Pop algies. Get in here. Check this out. Look at that. We can get a little brimstone charged up and everything. Just have to shoot in the wrong direction first. Bring it back, shoot in the right direction, leave it there. Let's not use that tactic on the cathedral, because it's going to be annoying. 
I mean, the hush fight went fine. Took more damage than I should have, but that's basically due to laziness, which is nothing new. You're a coin? Just a coin? Not worried. I'm just a coin and life is a nightmare. Okay. That's the simple plan. The simple plan? A simple plan? Simple plan? I forget what they're called. A simple plan was that movie with Billy Bob Thornton. That's like a, that's a lot of sacks. Like I'm not gonna say it the way Rob says it, but that is like a lot of nuts right there. I'm not really interested in teleporting. Um, got two hermit cards. Amazing. Keys could be useful, although we do have the ability to open every golden chest for free. Uh, I guess what I'm looking for is runes, like a Yara rune in particular. Why not open that chest? Uh, none of your beeswax, Bobby. Mostly because I don't think we need it. I think we're we got seven lives, epic fetus, incredible damage. We're guppy. It's one of the most stacked runs we've had in a long time. Well, we outside of a daily at least. Weird. Our dailies have been largely probably better than at least power level wise than our other uh, runs. Isaac is fucked, dude. He's like, say good night. He's actually not taking quite as much damage from the epic fetus shots as I thought, but. Everything else is eating him up inside. Well, we'll get our four items. We'll teleport at the end. This one's pretty much wrapped up. We just got to put the bow on it. Write the card. Come up with an excuse as to why the gift isn't better. Got a lot of bomb-related items here. Uh, we got this little bad boy, E. coli. I don't think we really gain anything out of out of many of these, including number one, which I, I did take. But I guess it could be worse. It could have been Curse of the Blind and then, you know, shitty items. Instead, it's just... Not Curse of the Blind and like maybe items that don't do too much for us. To be fair, they might do something for um, our Tech 2 shots. I took Dunce Cap just to see what happened. It did basically... Oh no! <laughs> I've had it before! I remember now. It completely changes the way you shoot Epic Fetus. It's so annoying. And it makes you put down two bombs instead of one. Okay, I see. We might go back for Lard if necessary. Spun? Nope. Now, like, I'm not aiming up and then down. That's me trying to go straight. Bob's brain, nah, that's, that's suicidal, man. We only take things like dunce cap around here. That's an item that allows us to shoot straight. What could I possibly want, want, want with that? Take Spelunker's hat. We already know where the secret rooms are, but, you know, sort of, why not? Death, hanged man, hanged man might be okay, but... Death card, pretty useless. At least everything still dies in two hits. It's just, you know, our character's basically drunk. Suppose we could just shoot with the laser if we find this, like, so troublesome. Magician? Yeah, okay. Why a magician? Still works with technology. I'm expecting to find our boss fight. Right around the corner, your mom's eye. E effectively the worst time in the game to get it, unless we got it as a drop, like, from Blue Baby himself. Alright, here we go. We can do this. Pop the Magician. That's a lot of damage. We're gonna be fine. Only briefly did I think that we might run into trouble. Wait, I got Mom's Eye and Kane's Eye confused. Mom's Eye is still pretty bad, though. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.